genes. That means you're born with it. And then you get the disease uh, because of environmental influence. These are called as either multiple genetic or polygenetic disorders, which are influenced by environment. And some of these disorders are very now important in our country. And one of them is uh, heart disease or cardiac disease, uh, diabetes, um, and cancer. These are the common disorders which are a mix of both environmental plus a genetic influence. That means you can't get the disorder just only by genetics. A few of them will have, but you will have to have a predisposition and then the environment plays an important part. Now why should we start these facilities in India? That is the first question. The reason is simple, that we are the capital of all these lifestyle disorders. The maximum people who have heart disease worldwide are in India. Uh, it's also going to be, cancer is going to be another capital of it. Uh, we will be the capital of the world in these forms. We in China will be possibly the biggest uh, uh, effective population because of this disorder. But specifically going to heart disease, which is what we are talking today, it's affecting not only Indians uh, uh, worldwide and Indians in India, it's affecting Indians who are young. But this is very important. If you have a young population having heart disease and they die, or they have a heart attack, or they get into trouble, then it's not only going to affect that person, it's going to affect the family, it's going to affect the economy of the country, and it's going to affect a lot of other things. So it's very important that we try to help patients by not allowing them to have problems yet. Some part of it we can change by diet, lifestyle, exercise, and uh, doing the right thing. But many of these are uh, based on genetics. If we know the genomics of these patients, or we know the genes part of these patients by testing, we can prevent or tell them that you need to start early to prevent the disease from, uh, or prevent or maybe postpone the disease from happening. For example, if you have a person who's prone to, uh, has a family history of heart disease, and you do a genetic test and you find that yes, they have a problem with their cholesterol metabolism, we know clearly that there is a problem here, so we need to act very quickly, right from childhood, in prevention of the cholesterol uh, influences on the body and try to see that they don't get heart attack when they're young. The second thing is that we are very clear now that the problem is not today of one country. It's a globalized world, like everything else. Indians live in UK, Indians live in US, you know, you have a lot of population of migrants coming into in, in, in our country. We have so many people who live in various parts of the world. So if there's a disease pattern which we find, it has to be linked globally. So Professor Berry is with us. He's from the reputed Glasgow University of Scotland. They have been pioneers in many of the work that they have done, both, both in hypertension uh, and cardiovascular research with the British Heart Foundation. And we, uh, as a group of hospitals, would link up with, the, with groups like Glasgow to provide, number one, the clarity of what the problems are here and what the problems they face, trying to get a population of patients both from Scotland, from India, and from other parts of the world so that we can have large studies of these groups of populations and put it scientifically together. And that is the aim of doing this collaborative research. And Web Genome has been a facilitator for this. Uh, it, they are one of the big you know, companies in India interested in genomic work and research. Their first phase of the facility was inaugurated in this hospital a few months ago. And the phase two, which is uh, real-time PCR and other techniques like Sanger has been put up now or doing these tests uh, in India at reasonable cost so that can help our patients win. So with this broad uh, you know, approach to all this, I would now hand over to, uh, to Dr. Ram Prasad from Benjino. And then finally, I'll hand over the mic to Professor Kamal Berry, who will tell us what he is looking at uh, in these other programs. Develop a specific complication. But a patient who has diabetes for about just three to five years 
can develop a bad complication. So you might ask why two patients who have diabetes for longer and short duration behave in a different way. Because one of the major factors is the genes that they have, which they inherit from their parents, play a vital role as to who get the complications faster. So two things we need to do for Indian population, as Dr. Ajit mentioned, we have a large population of uh, 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 Indians who are susceptible to heart attacks, heart diseases. So we need to identify what are those uh, genes or genetic component responsible for majority of these Indians who, who get heart attacks very early or, or very severe heart types of heart attacks or different heart diseases so that we can monitor them. We can tell them you are at a high risk, you, you are prone to get a heart attack in the next maybe 8 or 10 years. So be careful about your food, be careful about your uh, lifestyle, come to the hospital once in 6 months, do a checkup and go so that you can prevent it. So just imagine in a family, in a middle class family or a lower middle class family, a person, person gets an heart attack for no reason. So it's going to devastate the whole of the financial resources. So we need to develop these things. So that's one way Medgenome is working with the Madras Medical Mission to identify these genes and also work with clinicians to identify patients who we can, we can give them a better surveillance. On the other part, there are pure genetic diseases where the disease comes only because of bad genes. So Marabi El Sambandamana or Noi, where Edume reason Ilkar, Al Matunda, Al Nalda Valu. So in those cases, we identify the what is the genetic mutation present in the kids or adults and tell them that because of this you get. Some of the diseases you have a treatment management, some of them you can prevent in the next generation, some of them we can tell the you know, patients how to, how to be prepared for that kind of a disease and help the patient manage. So in these two aspects, Medgenome is collaborating with uh, Dr. Rajit and um, we have experts like Professor Colin Berry, uh, who work with both of us and bring some of the cutting edge things and some of the studies they have done in UK, Scotland, which have helped and brought out some new aspects of these genetic aspects of uh, diseases and work together so that we bring it to the Indian population also. So I leave it to In my country, ischemic heart disease, heart attack, chest pain is the leading cause of premature health problems and premature death. And we understand that these problems are the same in India. And we are motivated to reach out and work together to try to bring together our strengths in heart hospitals and in excellence in uh, industry to try and address these problems together collaboratively. So what we can do is throw open some questions from the press to us. Uh, we at Madras Medical Mission are working with the University of Glasgow. Dr. Colin Berry is here with us. Uh, and Medgenome, which is a large genomic company, in doing a few areas of important cardiovascular research. Uh, these research are specifically in a few areas. One is uh, coronary artery disease, that means blockages in the artery supplying the heart muscle. Uh, diseases of the heart muscle, which are called as cardiomyopathies. Uh, increased pressures in the lung, disease or disorders called pulmonary hypertension. These three are very common problems in our clinical practice in India. And what we are trying to now do is an association of the clinical issues in these patients uh, with their genetic uh, predisposition. Uh, there are not many studies from the Indian subcontinent on this uh, area, so it provides us an opportunity to put together a large group of patients from multiple centers in India and with collaboration with the British Heart Foundation and the Scotland University with the expertise of Dr. Berry, uh, we would put these uh, you know, large studies together and get some insightful information on the prevalence of uh, these disorders in India. Indian population and the genetic uh, uh, susceptibility for these disorders in, in Indian population. Just to try and provide new information on patients with health problems that are otherwise not easily explained. Um, the projects that we are particularly focused on 
are patients with chest pain but who do not have blocked heart arteries. And so we are interested in using new tests of small blood vessels, that, vessels that are too small for doctors to see, um, to make a diagnosis of normal or abnormal small vessel function. We're also interested in um, problems with the heart muscle and a genetic basis to that. Um, the projects will last usually three years uh, by inviting patients to take part during the course of a one to two year period and then hopefully staying in touch with the patients for a further year.